are you having problems with your CPU? Your FL Studio or Pro Tools is crashing. You're losing projects, you're losing files. It's getting annoying, you can barely listen to your project back. Well today, we're gonna fix all of that for you. Here I have a liquid drum and bass, which is EDM style track. So of course, that's gonna be pretty heavy on the CPU. So we wanna look at how the heck do we stop this from crashing and giving us weird sounds. Well, step number one, we wanna diagnose what the problem might be, what the main problem might be. So we can go ahead and control alt delete you can go to Task Manager, and over in Task Manager, you can see how much CPU is being used, how much memory is being used. And as you can tell, I'm recording right now, so my CPU is working overtime. I've got OBS recording audio, I've got FL Studio open, I've got Asana, I've got Chrome open with multiple tabs. So the first step, we want to make sure everything is closed, so we could go ahead and close all this stuff out. Closing as many apps as possible is going to save some of that space. The next step is going to be hard drive space. So some ways to go ahead and get rid of that, just clear up any unnecessary files. And if you've already done that, the biggest files are going to be videos. So if you have random videos in here, go ahead and delete all those. Another way, FL Studio automatically backs up projects. So what we got to do, we got to go into the root FL folder and we got to go to projects, backup. And then we just gotta delete all these because these are taking up a crap ton of space. And you can manually back up your own stuff on your own hard drives or whatever, but we wanna save as much computer space as we can. So that might that file path might be a little different for you, but all you gotta do is find projects, backup, and delete all of them. And of course you gotta go to the actual recycling bin and make sure they're fully deleted or else they're still on there. So that's gonna save some CPU power, hopefully stop it from crashing. Next, we're gonna actually move on to inside the projects. So inside the project, we wanna go ahead and try to make buses. So that means instead of putting one compressor on every single track, we're just gonna have one bus and route all of those tracks to it. So basically, instead of putting one, two, three, four, five different compressors, that's gonna take up a lot of space and it's gonna take up a lot of CPU power. Instead, we'll just put one and we'll route all these tracks to there. So how you do that, all we gotta go down is this little thing at, you, at the bottom here. You can just, instead of it to the master, we're gonna go ahead and route it to that track. So basically, the sound in this is first gonna run through this, through the compressor, and then it's gonna go to the master. So same with vocals, vocals especially. We have a bunch of different, we have the lead, all the harmonies and stuff. You wanna have a vocal bus with all these effects, because if you duplicate that a lot, your, your CPU is not gonna be able to handle it. So especially with reverbs and stuff, so as you can see, you have a synth bus, vocal bus, sort of a piano bus, bass, everything I need. Real quick, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps out the channel and it gives me a good indication as to what kind of videos you guys wanna see next. So next we wanna look at buffer size. So we go ahead and go up in settings. So how this works, for recording, we want to have a low buffer size, but when we're mixing, we want to have a high buffer size. So we just got to go to audio. As you can see, I have buffer length. Right now I've at high because I'm mixing. Usually I don't go up, I just usually stay at 1024. And then we're recording. The main reason is latency, but if your audio interface has a direct monitor feature, then you don't even have to worry about latency. So next we want to think about organizing the project. So. If you go over to audio files, you can see there's probably a bunch of these that aren't even in the project, you know, especially if I'm working with comping vocals and stuff like that. So what I like to do is have when I comp vocals in a completely separate project, so that's not taking any space up here. But if you did do that, so all we have to do is right click on this, select unused, and as you can see, it selects all the ones that aren't in the project. So make sure that you're happy with everything in the project. Uh, now all we gotta do just go ahead and delete. And that's going to delete everything that's not being used. So that frees up some space. And then another thing, this is more this is more about organization. So just having different folders like this is going to allow you to see everything in the project. And that way you don't have extra things going on and stuff all over the place. So that way, if you're lagging, then, so let's say my project sounds really bad, it's like crackling and you can tell it's a CPU problem. Then I can easily go down to instruments, and it's probably coming from there. 
And then what I can actually do with this specific plugin serum and like other things like that, this takes up a lot of CPU space. And if you have like 20 different sounds, it's gonna be running over, over time. So what we wanna go ahead and do, we can actually consolidate the sound. So if this is just an organ, instead of running through serum, we can go ahead and consolidate track. So what that's gonna do, it's actually gonna turn it into audio. So that way, instead of MIDI, it's just gonna be a straight audio track. And that's gonna save a lot of CPU power as well. So especially if you're an EDM, you wanna consolidate all the instruments that you can. So with clients, it's incredibly important that even when I'm showing them the track, that it's running smoothly and everything's going well. That's why CPU power is important. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. I do offer professional mixing and mastering services remotely and in person. So make sure you check out our website and view all the other offers that we have. Make sure you watch this music production tutorial next and I'll see you there.